the campus you talked about is anti-LGBT? George Galloway? Yeah, we knew that. I think I covered that in the segment we went over him, like, multiple times. Yeah, dude's super transphobic. Anger is George Galloway says gay relationships aren't normal and kids shouldn't learn about them. Uh, what is he cooking? So what specifically do you not like that's taught to children in schools? Well, I, I don't want my children prematurely sexualized at all. I don't want them taught that some things are normal when their parents don't believe that they're normal. Now, there's lots of things not normal. Doesn't mean you have to hate something that isn't normal. But if my children are taught that there's whatever the current Vogue number is, 76 or 97 or whatever the number of purported genders uh, that exist, I don't want my children taught that. But are they taught that? Uh, some of them are, yeah. I, are they, have... they taught? Right, it's... the fit. Uh, George, George Galloway dresses relatively well. Um, you can tell that the suit's of a high make too because the buttonhole here uh, has had its, its edges sewn. See that, that dimpling right there? Um, I don't know if the texture at the edges here indicates hand construction. I don't think it does, but at least some care has been put into it. Fedora rating. He's wearing a correct, he's, this hat wear is appropriate with this clothing. Obviously it's old fashioned, but it isn't like LARPy. Um, it, it looks fine. That This is what you would wear this hat for, you know? Um, it's not like the fedora thing where people would wear like, I don't know, like a, a white button up and a blazer and wear this. This is a proper worsted wool uh, business suit. This guy, on the other hand, apart from the collar gap, you should not wear a business suit. Is he buttoned it while sitting down? Okay. Uh, it looks like it fits the shoulders well, but um, you should not wear this without a tie. This is, this is a business suit. Look at the material. It's shiny. See, he's got no tie. He's got like three buttons undone or whatever, two buttons undone. Um, it's not appropriate for a suit of this kind, you know? You can get a non-business suit to do this in, and it would look good. Yeah, this is like the Piers Morgan fit, you know? If you're wearing this type of suit, it should be with a tie. I'm saying, I think kids should be going to school and taught that, you know, not all relationships... The, the fit is good. I mean, apart from the collar gap, like the shoulder, I, I think the line on the shoulder looks good, but... ...look like a heteronormative couple, male, female. There's a huge gap between saying... They should know that there's lots of LGBT ties are basically dead now. Then don't wear worsted wool suits. It, yeah, sure. I don't like ties either. Then don't wear worsted wool suits. Galloway is dressed appropriately here. He's wearing worsted wool, the business suit material. It's got a nice sheen. He's wearing a tie. He's wearing a nice uh, uh, spread collar dress shirt. And he's wearing a, uh, a business hat, you know, a nice formal hat, right? That looks good. Is a bow tie acceptable? Uh, con context dependent with a dinner jacket. Thanks, Twitter. I will wear the suit, I'll not wear the tie. Then don't wear a, a, a worsted wool suit. Just wear a different type of suit. It looks better. Suit with no tie. Here we go. You all earned this. Oh, God. Google results are not giving me what I want here. Oh, permanent style article. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. I have no idea how this guy gets the money to afford the suits that he buys. Here you go, okay? Plenty of examples of suits looking good uh, without a tie, depending on the material. This is some kind of linen blend, you know? It's not a business suit. See? More casual suiting. See? See? That looks, that looks really good. Right here? Um, is that a business suit? It looks like one, but it's dressed down, and he's got a chambray shirt on, not a white dress shirt. I would say that, okay, okay, I would say that if you want to wear a business suit without a tie, you can't wear the white dress shirt. This is chambray, that looks good, okay? This guy also knows a lot more than I do, so whatever. Tweed? See? That works. Though this is not a dress shirt right here. It's like, what, drop twill, maybe? Oh, hell yeah, look at this guy's mustache! Look at that. And see, right here, he's wearing either a Henley or a polo. I can't tell. Oh, it's a polo. It's a polo. I see the collar here. See, but notice how this, um, notice how this suit material, it's not shiny. See, it has that texture. Doesn't that look really, doesn't this look good? Not only is the fit good, you don't have the little shirt triangle right here. Um, it fits properly and all that business, right? Uh, you have a complimentary 
uh, pocket square rather than one that just matches the shirt. You don't want that. Uh, uh, but additionally, you you have a kind of dressed down look because you're not wearing like that shiny that shiny worsted wool. You know. Um, yeah. Okay. Mustache goals though. Okay, that's the point I was making. I don't like the polo with jacket look. That's fine. That's fine. So what specific a Catholic school in Scotland? So they have some protections for the moment, although the SNP government's threatening to remove some of those protections. Uh, but uh, my other two school children uh, are taught in England things that I don't want them to be taught. And at an age I Such don't as... want them to, to be taught. That relations, uh, that gay relationships are exactly the same and as normal as a mom, a dad, and kids. Notice how even a guy who's as out and about reactionary as this still has to couch his language in Weasley reactionary words. Like earlier he said, well, it being normal doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. And then he's, oh, but more, some normal things are less normal. You know, you don't want people teaching you about redheads in school because they're less normal than blondes or brunettes. Like, no, it's it's like the, uh, the answer here is because he thinks they're degenerate. Like that's the reason why, but yeah. I believe I want my children to be taught that the normal see like again thing. it's it, this is degenerate when when pe when reactionaries say normal what they're talking about is the degeneracy line in britain in society across the world is a mother a father and a family i want them to be taught that there are gay people in the world and that they must be treated with respect and affection as i treat my own gay friends and colleagues with respect and affection. But I don't want my children to be taught that these things are equal, because I don't believe them to be equal. In what way are they not equal? And then it's he's gonna be like, well, gay couples can't have children. And then it's like, okay, are the schools teaching these children that gay couples can biologically reproduce? And then he'd be like, oh, 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 because that because it only takes two follow-up questions to completely like shut down this line of argumentation, you know? Trump Media's accounting firm charged with massive fraud. Nice. Can't stop, won't stop. That the the college campus stuff has really got me in a negative sort, you know? I I I feel like things feel pretty hopeless right now. It's very frustrating. You know, the existence of these protests is good, and I genuinely feel like they'll prevail. It's just in the immediate sense, like the the negativity, uh, you know.